What's up everyone? This is Sam and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to take you guys into my laptop and I'm going to show you guys a template of what I like to send out to Alibaba suppliers when I'm first you know reaching out to them and trying to understand you know what their business is about and how I could use their services to get my business started as well. So with that being said I'm going to take you guys into my laptop and I'm going to show you guys exactly word for word what I like to send out to the suppliers in Alibaba. So let's get right into it. So here we are on my laptop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go on to Microsoft Word and I'm going to show you guys the template that I like to use when I'm contacting the suppliers on Alibaba. So let's get started. So here it is guys. I already went ahead and wrote out the template just so we can kind of keep this uh, video a little shorter than usual. And so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll read it out for you guys so you guys can see what it sounds like. So it starts out with to whom it may concern. My name is Sam and I run an online company selling and you know here you want to talk about whatever product it is that you are selling. I am currently looking to expand my product range and looking for suppliers who I can build a professional relationship with. I am currently selling over 10,000 units a month and so I need a supplier who can accommodate small and large orders. Please answer the following questions. 1. What is the MOQ? And MOQ basically stands for minimum order quantity. What are the quality of products that you produce? Can you produce blank? And this is, you know, where you want to ask them for the product that you're interested in for them to produce for you. Four, what is the price per unit? The price per unit for different quality, style, and size if, you know, your product has those dimensions. Five, can you provide me with an RFQ? And if you guys aren't familiar with what an RFQ is, it basically stands for a request for quota quotation where they will send you a document of all the products that they have with the prices, the sizes, the quality, material, and, and etc. Six, what kind of shipping terms do you provide? Seven, what are your average yearly production and sales numbers like? Eight, are you a manufacturing or a trading company? And nine, what type of packaging do you provide? And here you want to also insert the name or type of product that you are interested in getting a quote for. And finally, I like to close it off with, again, thank you for taking time to read this. I look forward to hearing back from you and building a professional relationship in the future. Best regards, my name, which would be Sam. And so... There you guys have it. This is a template that I use almost every single time I contact a supplier. I like it because it, you know, kind of introduces who I am, what I do. It kind of gives them the hint that, you know, I, you know, run a professional business online where I'm selling, you know, thousands of items, you know, annually and monthly. And then also get straight to the questions, asking them, you know, this is what I want, if you have this and so and so. Um, and this also helps to kind of break down what the best suppliers are from those who aren't really worth your time to kind of pursue over. Um, the ones that are really good suppliers are the ones who will actually answer those questions that you, you know, gave to them. And they'll be very either detailed or straight to the point with their answers. And so you'll know based off once you start sending this you know template out to all those suppliers which ones are good and which ones aren't so there you have it that is a template that i like to use and has been really you know successful for me when i'm reaching out to potential suppliers on alibaba now you guys you know are more than welcome to change this up take out some questions or add extra questions if you have some but i think this is you know a good starting point for you to be able to tell you know what is a really good supplier and what isn't a good supplier based off of the answers you will get when you send this template out anyways i hope that this video was helpful um if you guys did like this video hit the thumbs up and leave a comment let me know what you guys think and maybe if i left out a question or something that you always like to ask your suppliers 
let us know um, what it is down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. I'll be uh, sharing more knowledge about Amazon FBA and how you can get started selling on Amazon in 2020. I hope everyone has a fantastic week and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you.